This is HP Tuners RTD cable by Late Model Racecraft. We have been using this device now for a while for our customers, um, depending on the packages that we build. Essentially what this device does, guys, it is a device that holds tune files for you that we can load on um, for you at home, as well as a diagnostic tool. What it allows us to do, and you do at home, is switch tune files. So the truck we're in right now is a Ram TRX uh, that runs on E85 and 93 octane. So I wanna go quickly um, kind of show you guys once you get this at home, kind of go through the process of what you have to do. Now this device, I forgot to mention, does have serial numbers on them, so everything's different. When the customer gets the car home, or if this is your vehicle and you get home for the very first time, know that this device is already licensed for this car. So the tune files and stuff are already, we're gonna call it on the cloud, that are already linked to this cable already. So when you are in your vehicle and you get home, first thing you need to do is go to the app store, search, if I can type here, HP tuners, TDN, and I already have it right there. So there's the network, okay? Once you download the software, it will look like this, all right? And when you're at home, guys, once you have the software, you have to come up with your own account. So you have to put in a username and a password. Once that's done, we have the capability to load files on your vehicle for you. So as you can see, we're in a 21 Ram 1500 TRX. And as y'all can see, I already have three tune files loaded for this customer. So once the customer has this software, he now has all three tune files sitting here ready to go. Now, the dyno's about to make a pull next to me, so it might get loud. But you open this up. I'll quickly go over real quick to show y'all how easy it is to go back and forth. So it is Bluetooth, guys, so you will need the internet connected while using this device with your phone. There's a little green light right here that's gonna light up once it hooks up. Hold on. So you simply plug it into your OB2 port. You will then go to your vehicle, as you see here, right? And guys, it is very simple. It walks you through the steps. So in this case, the car that we're in right now uh, is on E85. So if this customer has been racing this truck for the past month, um, having fun, this thing made over 800 rear wheel horsepower on E85 and decides that he wants to go on a road trip and wants to run 93 octane, it's literally as simple as RTD cable plugged into the OBD2 port. You turn it in run mode and then we will select 93 tune, all right? And then you hit right vehicle. And guys, it's probably a three to four minute process. It'll pretty much tell you what to do. You're gonna go from the run mode to off, I think two different times. It's like a 10 second delay in between each one until it says right complete. And then the tune file goes from E85 to 93. And I will say in this video, in this case, when you go to do that, I will tell the customer to run the gas as low as possible. So if he is on E85, I'm gonna tell him to get it as low as possible on E before switching the tune file and putting it in 93. But once that's done, simply start the vehicle and you're good to go. Now he's good to run on 93 octane and go on road trips and still beat on the truck without having any issues. Again, this device is super cool for so many reasons. Um, Different things we can use it for and you can use it for at home is for diagnostics. Uh, you're in a different state and you have a check engine light. This thing, you can plug it in and it will data log for you and it actually sends it directly, uploads it to our server so we can see the data log and see the check engine light and see what's going on with your vehicle. And if there's something that we can make a change, we'll make a change, send a new tune file for you and 
that file will then show up and you do the same thing. You can upload the new file and go as you, you want, right? And then for you race car guys out there um, that do like to go to the track a lot, another thing, let's just say, again, this truck's making 810 rear wheel horsepower. Um, he's running, I don't know, let's just make up a number here, 10, 50s or 10.70s at the drag strip. It's like, man, Steven, I really want to try to run a new personal best night. Try to pick me up a 10th. Can you give me a really hot tune-up for Friday night? I can simply build a new tune file, put it on his network for him. He Same situation. Takes five minutes, loads the new tune file, goes to the track, hopefully runs a personal best. So whether it's for changing back and forth from E85 to pump gas or using it for diagnostics or race gas tune versus pump gas tune, several situations to use it for the device is very helpful and just know our customers when you get this thing back again it's already synced ready to go it'll be sitting in your truck or your car and the hardest part and the longest part is just putting the software on your phone um, and there is a cable in there that you can also use a laptop and do the exact same stuff you can load tunes with your laptop or you can scan with your laptop or you can use your phone it's your choice so those of you interested in stuff like this um, make sure you talk to our sales staff if you all have questions. As always, we're here to answer them. If you have questions about this video, you can always comment below and we'll try to answer as much as possible. Thanks. All right, those of you at home that have done business with us or have not done business with us or not, uh, the packages that we always ship out always are badged uh, if the customers ask for them, which most of them are badged. We always add a goodie bag with merch always in the passenger seat of the vehicles or in the back. Something new that we started adding every car that we ship. It's a nice little display um, showing the horsepower graph, horsepower and torque. We always show a baseline. In this truck in particular, we have a 93 octane horsepower and torque, and then on E85 horsepower and torque. And guys, I, I kind of like it for those of you that do go to car shows. It's a way to kind of set up when you park your vehicle, whether it's a Corvette, a Camaro, truck, Cadillac, whatever, kind of set it up and lets people walk by uh, your vehicle and see the actual rear wheel horsepower numbers as well as what package is done to it. So you can see it says Ram Terex 1000 horsepower package. That's a flywheel horsepower number. This one in particular made 810 rear wheel horsepower with the drivetrain loss in this big heavy truck. That's actually well over a thousand flywheel horsepower. Again, just something extra that we send uh, that's included in our packages um, that we send out every day. And this one's getting ready to load up and head back to I think, Missouri. All right, a lot of you guys out there gearheads are i think a lot like me when it comes to modding vehicles um those of you that play with your cars on yourself and you mod them yourself or you go to shops it's good to use a device like the draggy tracks aren't always open so you can't always get baseline results and then mod your car and see after results so not only do we use this every day a couple times a day we to baseline cars when they come in whether they're stock or lightly modified then we upgrade them to see our after results, whether it's zero to 60s, 60, 60 to 130s, sometimes half mile stuff, uh, quarter mile times, everything, this little device can do it, guys. So we use it daily. I recommend those of you gearheads out there that do the same thing. I highly recommend you order it as well. And uh, check our link below. Uh, use our promo code LMR10 to get yours today.